you've got to be wondering at this point, if you're watching, know the cause. I'm Doug Kaufman, and in fact, you are. We have a doctor here from Los Angeles. Oops, put my cigarette away. We have a doctor here from California, Dr. Eidelman, who's going to be talking about a device you wear on your body that can help you terminate addiction. Several of the guys here in the studio smoke cigarettes. Filthy habit, I know. I've tried to tell them that for years. And when they hooked up to this little thing, wait till you see. This is truly amazing, and that's why we wanted him on this show. Dr. Eidelman is his name. We sat down with... I'm going to go back to this. We <laughs> sat down with a physician from L.A., Dr. William Eidelman, who has a little device. You'll see this. And we found in our little clinic here... I can't even believe I'm holding that. Am I holding it right? We found that it really works. Watch this segment. Well, this is a little different, but I want you folks to take a look. This is Chris. Uh, Chris is one of the editors here in the studio, and these are not earrings. Uh, Chris is wearing an uh, Alpha Stim machine on his ears. Joining us is Dr. William Eidelman, who really is one of the followers of this information, one of the professors of it, I will say, because he is helping people break addictions with a huge success rate, and Chris is a smoker. What is the Alpha Stim machine, Dr. Eidelman? Okay, so this is a microcurrent electrical stimulator. FDA allows us to say that it works for anxiety, depression, insomnia, and pain, for which it's very effective. Mm -hmm. And it was rumored that maybe it works for addiction because of the work of the late, great Meg Patterson, a surgeon from Scotland who in the early 70s discovered accidentally that a small electric current to the brain cured heroin addiction. Mm -hmm. And then she got a bunch of big rock stars off the of heroin, Eric Clapton, Pete Townsend, Keith Richards, and others in the early seven, late 70s, early 80s, which was she got her 15 minutes of fame. <laughs> That's when I first heard about it. And then she apparently worked with other addictions too, and, uh, but she dropped out of the scene and this device came along rumored maybe it works for addiction. I had a young lady come in, wanted to get off of methamphetamine after four years and could I help her? And so I knew the thing was supposed to work and it did, it worked like a charm. Then I thought, oh my God, it really worked like it's supposed to, let's see what it does on cigarettes. And I started asking people when they come in, are you craving, do you smoke? Yes. Do you need a cigarette now? Yes. Can we hook you up just for fun to see what happens? Okay. And then two minutes later, I ask them, how's your craving? And they kind of look at me with the oddest expression. Mm -hmm. I don't even want a cigarette. I'm not even thinking about a cigarette. We uh, talked to Chris before you hooked him up a few right. minutes ago, three, four minutes ago. And Chris, you said that your craving on a scale of zero to ten was what? It was around an eight. What was, you really needed a cigarette? Yeah. Okay, and in lieu of doing that, in lieu of putting the ashtray on the set and lighting up a cigarette, um, you just hooked up to these, and that was a few minutes ago. Do you right. notice difference with these? Absolutely, honestly? absolutely. I don't have the, <clears throat> the craving or the desire to, the, I don't feel a need. If there was a cigarette here in an ashtray, you wouldn't want to pick that up and smoke it. No, I'd look like a prop. <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah. So you crazy. went from zero, from eight to zero, basically in two minutes right. in needing a cigarette. So what is the program? In other words, Mac, one of our other studio uh, editors here, uh, did it. And I was just wondering if that wasn't, you know, coincidence that it works so quickly, so well on Mac. But he said, I don't need a cigarette after this. Right. Um, what is the program with okay, the device? Okay, so I call it the two-step program. Okay. Step one, you decide, now I'm quitting. Step two, whenever the craving arises, you put the thing on, turn it on. Within two minutes or less, the craving's gone. A 20-minute treatment keeps the craving away for two to 12 hours, more or less. But whenever the craving starts to creep back, when it's still a sensation, before it's even uncomfortable, you put the thing on, it goes away. Usually, uh, the first three days, a person might have to use it three, four, five, six, seven times. By the fourth day, usually not as much. Within one, two, three, four weeks, the cravings stop coming back, the addiction's over. And we're talking about cigarette addiction. Let's talk about methamphetamines. Let's talk about cocaine. Let's talk about alcohol. Would it work theoretically for all of these? It works practically. Not theoretically, theoretically and practically. I mean, really? in, in practice, uh, everyone who's come into my office craving any addictive substance, within two minutes, the craving's gone every time. Okay, now what is this Almost little device? Almost without exception, sorry. Isn't that exciting? I mean, you get 90% yeah. plus.
97% in taking away the craving. Now, granted, it's a little different to quit because quitting involves a lot of different factors. Uh, not everyone wants to quit. Mm -hmm. This is a free country, more or less, mm -hmm. and uh, we should be allowed to do things like smoke if we want to. But the trouble is that if you want to quit, it's so, t it's so hard. Yep. So this makes it easy to quit if you want to. Now, I have had people who you know, thought maybe I want to quit or I want to quit, and they took the thing home and they kind of quit, but then they realize they don't really want to quit, and then they smoke. But then when I say to them, well, would you say you're smoking because the treatment failed, the answer is no. The question is, do you want to quit? That's right. If you want to, like Chris did, this may work for you. I'll be right back.